So, we're making coffee because we're getting ready to go and start making another video. So, this is kind of like our thing before we go out in the garage and start doing our thing. We gotta have some coffee. I love coffee. Let me show you what kind of coffee that we got right here. We got a big old box of the Keurigs. Right, so now some of don't, listen, don't, don't judge us though, okay? Because there's some of you might be saying like, oh, that's kind of the cheap kind. I don't care, but it's good, it's wrong. So this is the Kroger brand, 100% Colombian coffee. <laughs> I don't think people are saying that's the, it's the cheap kind. I don't know, but some people, some, but it's what you like. Right, See, but, it, but it's bomb. Look at how perfect. That's good. So my wife got a different vibe on the coffee. She likes iced, I like hot coffee. She likes iced sweet coffee. And you, I add cacao. Being pregnant, I only do like one ounce of coffee actually, like one ounce of coffee. And then I add a tablespoon of cacao in there. And then this amazing. That one right there. Cream. It's out cold. I add that and then we use as a sweetener, I use agave, just a little bit of agave. You might use a lot. I use because I add a little bit of some caramel in there. And mine tastes like Starbucks, so. Hey, listen, I can't. Listen, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Her, when she started putting that, when she started putting that cacao in there, it, it is actually pretty bomb. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, pretty bomb. I know. Mine is excellent. I don't know what you're saying. So what are we gonna what are we gonna record? What kind of video are we doing? The beauty of Judaism. Ah, the really beauty of Judaism. That because there is just so much beauty about Judaism, and uh, we have so much to talk about uh, within that. Like what? we we can literally talk about like hours. So we got so listen. Th this is like right after Shabbat. So we're just giving you the raw, right? This ain't clean. This ain't really how we get down. But this shit, you know, it's the real. I know y'all. I'm sure real. everybody else is, is can relate. So this ain't, I'm not, I'm not going to show y'all what's over here, right? It's not, this ain't not really that, it's not that fire. Um, okay, don't show them Mine is so good. It's this fire. Starbucks, it was out paying the big bucks. Oh, fire. look at that. Uh, yeah, are you, you're cool with that? Oh wait, I'm looking at the other thing. Yep, 11 to 12, that's perfect. You never want to take it for granted. Yeah. Um, because it's just so beautiful. Like, we obviously weren't born Jewish. We're not Jewish yet. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Leigh. Hey, there's our beautiful daughter. Oh, you guys are funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. No, no, no. you're good. You want to say hi? Yeah, how gorgeous our daughter is. She's just, our eldest. just a beautiful young lady. I'm heart. so proud of her. So proud of her. Thank you. We love you. Okay, I didn't know you were filming. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, you whip up your coffee fast. Yeah, my daughter's fine. into coffee now. That's my girl. That's my girl. I didn't know how I felt about it, but you know, it's like this thing now. Like she all these like now. teenagers are drinking coffee a little bit. You know, it's not like everyday thing, but every now and then, right? Yeah. Just the more that we learn, the more beautiful it becomes. Mm -hmm. I mean, since we're on it, I mean, we might as well let, let's just start right here. Mm -hmm. what's, what's your favorite? I think you know that answer, but uh, it's definitely Shabbat. I think it's something just so special about that day only being for the Jewish people. And, you know, how it's 25 hours of just escaping from the mundane and like, you know, shutting down, right? And being able to really value family time and, you know, community as well. You know, getting together with your community and, and then intentional time, you know, with Hashem, um, which is just, it's so beautiful for me. And I'm like, and everybody does not get that. That is just for the Jewish people. Yeah, I always like to say, I mean, I've said it in a couple of videos that, that you disconnect to connect mm -hmm. to the creative universe. So yeah. it's just beautiful. It was something that was given to the Jewish people from the creative universe. Like that's that's what just makes it beautiful. It's so Even beautiful. So much like more it's crazy. Like the creative universe said, okay, this is your day, you're gonna rest. Like, but it's it's for you. So what I love 
you, you know you know what else I love too is that I love that the Jews have a responsibility for each other. Mm. Every Jew is my responsibility. That's right. I, I love that. It's not like a uh, you know selfish thing or I just got to look out for myself type of thing. It's like no, you're my responsibility. You're my responsibility. You're my brother. You're my sister. Like I I love that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't know. It just it just feels so good to know that somebody's down in their luck. And they're having a hard time. It's a Jew. It's a Jew, Jew's responsibility to make sure that they're good. Yeah. Help them get a job. You know, give give them some resources if possible. You know, if you have a business, put, like put them on, bring bring them on, get help them find it. work. And you know, I mean, so, I mean, we've even heard stories like, no, come stay in my house, right? Mm -hmm. Stay stay in my house, and until you get on your feet, and that, that's that's just it. Yeah, that's that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, like the fact that you are obligated to help in some way i think that's why the jewish people are so successful is that very Gosh. act right there that just i think keeps you know the jewish people at a at a certain level of um just a level of character <laughs> there we go uh, that's like no other and we want to share our hearts on why we think it's beautiful it's beautiful we want the world to know how beautiful yeah. it is mm-hmm Cool. So let's go. Alrighty. That's another thing that another thing that we love is the DACA, which is charity. And the, I mean, just giving is such a central core part of being a Jew. As we're learning, as we're going through this process and learning about Judaism, becoming Jewish, it's really created a major awareness in our lives. Meaning, when I'm out and about, both my wife and I, when, when my wife and I are out and about, it's almost like we're looking for opportunities to give and to be a blessing. Judaism has really taught us to care about people and to make sure that everybody that we pass or that everybody that we meet making sure that they feel and that they feel loved, uh, cared for, and they need to be treated like a human being, right? Everybody deserves a smile. Everybody deserves a hello, a how are you doing? Uh, how is your day going? You know, and, and it's almost like we, we, we look for opportunities to be able to give. Every time our, our kids see money lying around or they see a dollar or some pennies or something, they say, oh, here's go some money, Zadaka. And so it's cool because they're associating money with giving. So it's a beautiful thing. One thing I love about my wife is that she loves people so much. She loves people. I do. I get emotional about these comments. It's, it's special. She's responding to somebody on Instagram that left mm -hmm. us something uh, very, very beautiful. And uh, I don't know, it just inspires me so much when I see my wife kind of just sitting there, taking the time to like leave a very, very heartfelt message, not just a, you know, any type of message, but it's, you know, she sits there and, and she gives a thought, you know. You guys are very special to us. Very special. And I'm not emotional just because I'm pregnant. This is how I am. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Okay, I'm ready. Right. Let's go. We we are we're doing this for not for us. This is all this is all about just bringing light to the world and just sharing a little bit of our journey and who we are. And I hope, you know, Hashem allowing us to do that is such a blessing. Yep. That we don't take for granted at all. We don't. Or lightly. Okay, so you get to see like the real right now. So, you know, it's not the cleanest, but it's, but it, you know, we, we, do our, we try our best. It's just simple. You know, just simple. So we move this out the way. You shouldn't put boxes on my chairs. I've asked not to put boxes on my really, my really nice chairs. Thank you. Okay. That. 
set this in a spot. We'll do, we'll do another behind the scenes on how we built that wall. And Is that what you can call it? Like a backdrop? Yeah, it's a little backdrop. So we built it, but it's like a special wall though, right? So, or, or the I say the wood vibe, but we'll give you the story on some behind the scenes stuff. So, so we did a interview in, while we were in New York with Living Lachaim. Big shout out to the Living Lachaim team. Yes, uh, Yaakov Langer. Thank you guys so much. It was an incredible time. It was incredible. We had so much fun. So much love and uh, man, you just made us like feel like family, right? Which is how you're supposed to feel, but uh, thank you. We thank had you. a great, great time. It was a very comfortable, relaxed environment. And so he just released it, and the podcast is out, so make sure you guys check it out. It's on the Living the Chaim channel. Mm -hmm. uh, he just posted he just posted a clip on Instagram, so it's just, it's just so cool. Yeah. It's so cool. We're very, very grateful to have that opportunity, so big shout out to Living the Chaim. Yes, thank you. Thank you again. So another thing that we think is just so beautiful about Judaism is just that whole like family, uh, family dynamic, you know, and um, I know for us, that's really big. You know, that's what our channel really stands for. Right. Yeah. And, um, you know, to be able to see how much Judaism really um, values that whole family aspect, I think is just something that really attracted us a whole lot uh because yeah. that's something that we we wanted it was something that we were attracted to and to see on the level now that you can have that family dynamic you know um being jewish it's it's like a whole nother level of it yeah uh, so yeah yeah i mean jewish life revolves around family life it revolves 100%. around the home specifically mm -hmm. and that's where it starts you know it starts with teaching your children it starts with husband and wife learning how to be married according to Jewish law. It's a different dynamic. My favorite and, word, shalom by it. <laughs> right? Judaism uh, teaches it, uh, you know, there's a humongous emphasis on making sure that you have peace in your yeah. home. That's what shalom by it is. Mm -hmm. um, it's peace in your home. And I think that was just one of the biggest things that attracted us. Mm -hmm. It was the f learning how to build the family unit yes. and uh and something family that, life is beautiful you know and it's so cool because that's something that me and ladero have worked so hard on yeah. in our marriage is having that and i just want to shout out my husband because i am just so proud of him and how much he has grown as a husband um, as a father uh, he does such a great job of making sure there is shalom by it in our home uh, even when it comes to shabbos and just on a daily, like he is so helpful with the kids. And if I need that time and if he's, he's just, he's very intentional with helping me whenever I need it. And so I'm just, I'm truly grateful because, you know, sometimes I hear, you know, wives don't really always have that. And, and so I don't take that for granted. I, I just want him to know my appreciation for him and how much he has grown. Um, Thank you. Because he's grown. <laughs> he has yeah. grown. Thank you so much. Yeah, very proud of you. There's, a, there's lots of shalom by it in our home. Thank you. I'm a work in progress. I work on it every single day, but I, I must say, I'm not tooting my horn, but I, I, I am a lot better than I was years yeah, before. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. I, and I really believe, I really believe that Judaism had everything to do with that. You know, that's another thing that I, I value so much about Judaism is I 
you know, Judaism knows how to bring up men, real men. And that's what you see. I see real men when I see Jews, you know, and I think that it's a, it's something beautiful just to, to be able to see that, especially going on 16 years of marriage next month. Woo -woo. The dramatic growth in just mm. a couple of years. Now he's been working on it for many years, but just to see the growth within just a couple of years has been really, Thank you. really awesome. When I, when I think of a, a man going out to battle for his family, I think of a real man going to Davin first. Mm -hmm. That's what a real man does, right? Before he goes out to battle, he goes and talks to Hashem. Like that's that's the battle, right? Because uh, you know a, a Jewish man knows that it ain't about it ain't about his him having the power, right? He right. connects with the power of all powers, the source of all creation, and and I, I just feel like just that that Jewish man knows what to do to go out and and fight for his family it's about connecting with hashem and then trusting hashem to be able to take care of whatever needs to be taken care of <laughs> actually it's so funny because i was going to bring this up and i was going to say i don't know if this is wrong but there's something very attractive about seeing my <laughs> husband put that on and seeing him diving like i love like i literally when i come down the stairs and i see him diving um or you know just taking that time or I know that he's getting ready to go to shul and, and Davin, it's like, it's just so attracting. Like to me, I'm like, he's about to go spend time with the creator. That's attracting to me. I, 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 I don't know. Uh, you let me know if that's like, ladies, <laughs> do you feel that same way? Cause I, I love it. It just, it brings me so much joy. You know, another beautiful thing about Judaism, the Jewish people have the best instruction manual that's ever been created, right? That's very true. Is the Torah. They have the Torah, the five yep. books of Moses that is packed with life, with everything. They have to, listen, this, this Torah, this book was given to Moses. Moses, and Moses passed it down. These special instructions were given, were created by the creator of the universe. The creator of all creation that created the heavens, the earth, the grass, the animals, the, he created humanity, said, you know what? I have these special instructions. I have this gift, this beautiful thing called the Torah, and I'm going to give it to this special people called the children of Israel. It doesn't get any more beautiful what? than that. That's so special. That's, and you know what? And Ladero and I, we're never going to take that for granted. Never going to take that for granted because that is just, I think that's one of the biggest like mind blowing things right there. That if you really sit on that and know that something was given to you by your creator just for you. Yeah. Just for you. Yeah. Mind blowing. The, yeah. You know, we're so <laughs> passionate about it because we did, we had a Christian standpoint before. Yeah. So now to see it on this level, guys, it's like this is why this is why we're so passionate about it because it's so like I can get emotional because it's just so much beauty yeah. and what we were looking for. Just what we were looking for is just that 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 guide right there, right? That more of that connection to Hashem. Um, Another yeah. thing I wanted to talk about too is uh, just even education. You know, that's a, that's been a big thing for us to, yep. you know, have our kids in a Jewish school, you know, and to see the difference because we've experienced public to homeschooling to now, you know, Jewish education. And I see a huge difference. And I'm very thankful because I think about when I was in school at the age that my daughter is right now and my son and how different things were compared in comparison to them being in a Jewish school. I mean, the fact that they're learning Torah. Yeah, man. You know, children are, are learning how to connect with Hashem even in their education at school. Like, yeah, absolutely. Our kids diving at school. Like, that's... <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> For us, we love that it's more of an emphasis on growing in, in, your, uh, in, in your Torah education mm -hmm. more so than than other areas, right? I love that that is 
the core teaching, yeah. right? And for us, it's important that our kids have a very, very solid you know, education in, in their Torah learning. That's, mm -hmm. that's important for us. We want our kids to, to grow in their, in their fear of Hashem and their love for Torah. That's important for us. General studies and all those different things is important as well. Right, but it's not more important than our than, than our kids' Torah education. Mm -hmm. That's top priority for us. Absolutely. So I love that. So everything is everything is just beautiful. Everything is beautiful, 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 <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Right? We love Judaism so much. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. We just appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Uh, it means it means the world to us. Mm -hmm. If if you like our content, we would appreciate a, a a good like, a comment, a share. Subscribe. Subscribe. Whatever you want to do. Share with your grandma. Share with your cousins. <laughs> but, but you guys have already been doing it. You've yeah. been sharing it. And uh, we really, really, really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah. Be sure to check out more of our videos. We'll throw some up on the screen as well. And we'll see you on the next video. Yes. Thank you, guys.